Welcome to Reach for Healing. I'm Rebecca, and tonight I'm going to teach a mini masterclass and share a tool with you that you can use to turn your life around if things have gone from bad to worse. That tool and that technique, it sounds so simple, you may roll your eyes and dismiss it out of hand, but I promise you, if you stick with me, if you give me seven days of using this tool, I promise that you will start to see things turn around in your life, no matter what's going on. So you're probably thinking, what is that tool and how much does it cost? Well, it's a mini notebook. I get these at the dollar store in packs of four. This four pack costs $1, which means one of these is all of 25 cents. You need one of these and something to write with. I like mechanical pencils, so that's what I have here. You're going to take this notebook and you're going to open it up and on the top line, you're going to write the date. And then you're going to sit down and you're going to write down three things, three things, three things that you appreciate in your life, that you're grateful for, three things that are positive. That's the first day that you get it. Now, depending on what time of the day that you get it, later that night when you go to bed, you're going to want to write down three more things. And then the next morning, when you get up, you're going to start, you're going to open a new page, turn it to the next page. Write the date at the top of the page and write morning and come up with three things that you're grateful for. Now, this might be difficult if you're in the middle of a tough time. And each time that you sit down or pause to write down three things that you're grateful for or that you appreciate, they have to be three new things. So you can't find three things and keep repeating them. You need to identify three new things each morning and each evening. It's harder than you might think, except that they don't have to be big, exciting, wondrous uh, events. They can be really simple things. And I'll share a time in my life when I used this that turned around um, a tough time that I was having. So I think I mentioned in a previous video that I took a job once where I took a $30,000 pay cut. And I was at first very excited about this job. But about a year into it, I realized there were some um, challenges with some of the folks that I was working with. And uh, the best way for me to describe this is it was a mean girl situation. Now, I am a very strong individual. I'm pretty tough. But this situation was uh, very difficult. It was difficult to understand. I couldn't understand where this was coming from. And I didn't seem to be able to do anything to kind of neutralize the behavior. So the behavior was escalating, things were getting more intense, and I thought, wow, not only did I take a $30,000 pay cut, but I'm in the middle of this ridiculous situation with other people, and I really felt trapped. It was not a circumstance where I felt that I could leave. I had made that move for very intentional reasons, including retirement reasons, and really failure was not an option. So I had to figure out how not to be miserable in this job so that I could hang in there. And so I took this technique and I kind of um, adapted this technique from some other, a, a few other uh, spiritual techniques. But this one I like because it doesn't really require a lot of time and it doesn't require a lot of tools. I mean, this is about as simple as it gets. So I started with the three things to be appreciative of, and I will tell you how simple this can be. The first thing that I found to be appreciative of in this job situation was that the store on site there has cut up fruit available. And for less than $2, I could get some cut up cantaloupe, some strawberries, some grapes, sometimes grapes with um, little chunks of cheese. And as I was working on um, eating healthier and and uh, paying more attention to health and wellness, this was really a, an easy button for me. And it was a, a nice way to take my morning break. I could get up from my desk and take a quick walk over to the store. And for less than $2, I could purchase a very healthy snack and it helped me stay on track. I always felt better. And it was, it was a positive. It seems rather mundane, but it was a very positive aspect to each day that I was at work. And so as I thought about the fruit and the ability to walk over there and get a cup of fruit, I realized that on this particular work site, 
it was encouraged, uh, employees were encouraged to, to walk on their breaks. And so on my afternoon break, I brought in a pair of tennis shoes and on my afternoon break, I would take a 10 or 15 minute walk around the outer perimeter of the campus. And I, it was nice because it's, it's, it's lush. There's a lot of nature available. So it was like a walk in nature, even though it's in the city. And so it was refreshing. It was peaceful. It contributed also positively to my health and wellness journey. And, you know, as we all try to get our 10,000 steps a day, it was something that added positively to that. So I started in the midst of this situation that had kind of gone sour by being grateful for and appreciating cups of cut up fruit and the ability to walk on my break. And from there, it grew. And I did this practice. I, I would write down three new things each morning and three new things at night before I went to bed. And I will tell you that magically, I don't like to use that word magically. Um, what happened was I stopped dreading going to work. The relationships at work didn't improve overnight, but I was less stressed by them. Things improved overall. And I really grew to fully embrace and appreciate the job that I had taken, the place that I had um, moved into as my new employer, and really everyone around me. And I can say to you that more than six years later, uh, I'm still here and I'm glad that I stayed. And I'm so grateful for this very simple, simple, simple tool that helped me hang in and stay at a place that has turned out to truly be a blessing in terms of a workplace. I've learned a lot about myself. I've learned a lot about how to um, engage with others when they're not really that interested in engaging with me. And I've grown a lot spiritually, which sounds crazy because it's not a spiritual kind of job, but I've learned so much and I've grown in many ways uh, that I don't think I would have grown if I would have left when I first encountered um, a tough time. So I share this with you. That's why I call it a mini masterclass. It's a really quick and easy solution, and it's as accessible as your neighborhood dollar store or discount store. So whatever's going on in your life, relationship troubles, money troubles, um, other financial troubles, maybe just career in general, or maybe you're just feeling like things just aren't working out, maybe it's housing troubles, whatever it is, if you try this simple technique for seven days, and remember, you have to do it for seven straight days. So if you skip a day, you have to start over at day one. Do this morning and night for seven days, three things you're grateful for, three things you appreciate. And I promise you at the end of that seventh day, you will realize that things, have, things are starting to turn around and that life is starting to show up and support you and that really all is well and things are good. I hope you'll try it. Send me a note, leave a comment, let me know how it works. Come back and see me again. Subscribe to the channel, like this video, and I'll see you next time. Take care.